Hi peeps, it's Junction 6 again with another in the VNC Power Series. This time I'm with um, Midnight again. We're against a clan f called Puma. I've heard of them. They're okay. They've got some good tanks there, a Smasher and a Tiger P and a J-Panther. Let's get on with the battle. <laughs> Right, the first thing what happens is midnight calls A B. I say I'm going to B. It's obvious for this map, and the KV2 says he's going to go to A. This is me arriving at B. Spotting out, we see the uh, Sherman there, and notice that Cap C is ticking away really fast. Probably two or three tanks in C. I'm going to come over this ridge and take a shot for my truck but we know that all they're all over that side this is midnight he's gone down low sees that Sherman fire fire trying to run away they trade shots and the Sherman firefight decides he's definitely gonna run away he knows the rest of his team are on the other side midnight's gonna come up and work this side of this of the cap base I'm on the other side of the cap base working the ridge, midnight's on this side. So we know they're all over this side apart from that Sherman. He's looking around for shots, sees this one, through the building, wood building, takes a shot. Still looking around where that Sherman was, sees that guy still there. This time he tries to go through a truck, but the truck takes all the um, power out of the shot. Still looking around for shots. There's another one. Still keeping an eye on the R left hand side there. This is over to me. I'm on the other side of the cap. I'm also looking for shots across. There's a nice shot onto that uh, T71. Although it only damages the track, it didn't actually track him in place. Could have done with that really t tracking him. Hopefully he's going to pop back out again, but he disappears off the map. I'm looking around, making sure nothing's coming. There's that T-71 again. Put another hit to him. Unfortunately, that guy takes out our um, spotting guy. These two guys try to cross, because they know I've fired. I don't know what this guy's thinking. He's just going to sit right out in the front there and get absolutely hammered, so he decides to go back. Midnight is over here. There's our Sherman. He's gone all the way around and still gets whacked. He's not very happy. Now, Midnight's seen that T71 goes going round. He's anticipating he's going to cross his river. He's back down here waiting for him. He's going to pre aim. Anticipation was right. Took nearly all his hit points. He's hanging around to see if he's going to come back but one of our teammates take him out. Now I'm over the other side, I'm still working my ridge here. Got these two guys who tried to cross earlier, one of them's just been taken out by our KV-2 and the Tiger P thinks he's going to push across. I'm sure he's not aware that I'm here. I take a bounce there, that's from the Sentinel over here. So I know he's fired. I'll put some damage into him. Still working my ridge. I've seen that uh, midnight's gone down. That tiger's in the open. Now I've got a bit of a decision to make here. Midnight's gone round. It's going to bounce this one off that uh, smasher. That smasher's full health. So midnight needs to be wary of him. This is where the chaffy starts calling for help. So Midnight's going to try and help him, but he's aware that there's at least three tanks on his right hand side, as well as a smasher on his left. That Chaffee decides he's going to rush a smasher and get smashed away. But that means that Midnight can put at least two shots into this smasher before backing up to get to safety. 
He did take a bounce from someone over that side. I'm not sure who though. This is me. This is, I've made my decision. I can see our KV2's in trouble. I'm going to put the um, sirens on and rush across the hill. So I take out that um, Tiger P. He would have probably put another one. I think the um, KV2 would have survived, but that KV2 is now fully reloaded. He tracks that guy in place. I can take him out. So now I'm going to try and get over because I know that Midnight's over here facing two or three tanks on his own. He's probably wondering where the hell I am now. Then he sees that I've taken out the guy to his right so he knows both those two tanks which are left are on his left hand side he doesn't want to get hit by that smasher although he is fully health almost but he's just going to run a play ring around, around, ring around the roses with the guy as he comes around this corner he spots the other guy this is me putting on my speed that guy has obviously just given up. So we take him out. So I'm up with midnight now. As I come around here, I'm gonna come around here, fire at the smasher, put him on fire, and he takes a massive hit into me. But um Midnight takes him out. This is where I make a major, major mistake. I should have carried on going forward, but I backed up straight into the line of fire of that guy. This is uh, Midnight's view. Sees me come round. Knows now that I can take that guy out. Midnight is anticipating that I'm going to carry on and this guy's going to chase me down. But as you can see, I'm backing up. He must have thought, what a dick. Now, it looks like Midnight it's stopped here but what he's actually doing is typing he's typing to our KV2 to, to either cap or help as you can see it's pretty equal on points and then the cap starts running so midnight knows he's not going to get the end bounces a shot there shoots the uh, opposition bounces another one little love tap and then So obviously we won that battle, we ended up top of the tree, five kills between us. Their toon ended up top of their tree, but only got the two kills. Mainly because Midnight held that smasher in place, prevented him doing any damage. Thanks guys for watching, catch you next time.